I think it's just me. So, so, so. It is makeup time. Today we will be trying to recreate this specific makeup look of Soyeon from G Idol. With the floral theme and the little like uh, butterfly headpiece. It is giving me very that butterfly lady and demon slayer. Yeah, so I'm obsessed with this look right here. I assume you probably already know this. Yoja Idol is going to come back on the 11th um this month and they're coming back with a whole album called iber i have definitely considered to do some of the other looks that they have posted however i decided to do this one because i have never tried this sort of like igari um hangover kind of makeup because if you see her eyeshadow it's somehow kind of like blended seamlessly into like a high blush placement over here yeah it is so like cute i think it's like a semi a hangover makeup look that i personally never tried before it has that editorial element within it so we're gonna go with her and as always i'm going to be prepping my skin first with a toner my skin feels really dry at the moment because i just washed my face i'm just gonna quickly use a little bit of toner to bring a bit more life back into the skin Oh my god, this feels so good. I'm using this uh, Anwa toner uh, that I've reviewed before. I will link it right up here if you want to go watch that. Um, so far, I've been using it pretty consistently. I'm almost emptying this bottle. I probably will be purchasing a second bottle. And I must say, my skin have been pretty good. I rarely get breakouts. I mean, I did have a little bit of a situation here just as normal, but it's really like minimal now i'm gonna use the anwa uh ampule to sort of like use it as a primer really i'm not going to use uh, a moisturizer but this ampule i feel like it's moisturizing enough you know and to just give my skin a little bit of that oomph you know what i mean and i noticed that using this ampule instead of um like a poor feeling primer it just makes my makeup sticks a bit better you know my lips is hella dry so i'm just gonna Use a little bit of lip balm. Mmm, this smells so good. This is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in Berry. I do have the, um, what do you call it? The Laneige Sleeping Mask that I really love, but I like to use this one on the go, you know? So for the base makeup, I'm not gonna do anything too different. This is pretty much what I do on a daily basis uh, whenever I wanna film. For the base, I'm going to use my Moonshot Setting Fit Cushion in 301. Um, I hope I still have some left because I definitely need like another refill. I won't be using the puff because God knows when that I last washed this. Um, so I will be going in with the sponge. Girl, I really hope there's still some left because I'm really like making it work right here. All right, so we got some on the sponge and we're just gonna go in. So applying it with a sponge, like the coverage is not crazy. Um, but I do like the finish of it. It's like more natural. This is pretty buildable, so I don't mind it. If you notice, I've been wearing this top like a lot on my channel because I don't really buy clothes that much anymore. This is a pandemic, so I don't think that buying clothes should be a priority or makeup. I'm actually running out a lot of makeup stuff and skincare stuff, but I should probably just buy a couple more stuff that i really need like this cushion i definitely need a refill or not i probably don't have any like foundation pretty much evens out my skin tone pretty well and what i'm going to do next is i'm going to conceal um using this uh, milani conceal and perfect foundation in warm beige i ran out of this as well and how i've been using it as a concealer is really i'm scraping <laughs> Um, the little like applicator here, well not applicator, this is a pump and a little bit on uh, my hand because I don't need that much of this. This is pretty high coverage. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little concealer brush or a lip brush and I'm gonna go in and spot conceal with this. And this works absolute wonders and pretty much just like covers my blemish pretty perfectly. 
and i noticed that using the concealer or foundation this way it's that it keeps the rest or the majority of the face pretty natural it makes my skin still looks like skin you know um without the super duper heavy coverage crazy thing is i used to spend around like two hours just to get ready for a video and right now i'm just like <laughs> i don't have that time anymore and even though i really miss you know doing all the very full glam and creative kind of makeup um i have just been i don't know going pretty natural with stuff but these days i sort of just like to keep at least the base makeup on a minimum since i am wiping it off um right after filming anyway so i thought it would be like a waste of product as well you know if i use it too like excessively or too much all right so i've pretty much done concealing i'm probably gonna go in with a little bit of like highlighting going on just a bit with this also like pretty much emptied out maybelline concealer and conceal like a little tiny bit yeah i definitely need to get one of these again this is this is pretty much empty y'all i'm gonna use a sponge and blend that out so now we're gonna go ahead and set the base with a loose powder i'm using the fenty loose powder in cashew honestly this isn't completely my shade it's like a tad bit darker i should have bought the banana one but i think they run out so i got this one instead and if I use it like very, very lightly and not do it for baking and stuff, I can get away with it. And it does set the base pretty nicely. I know that Fenty came out with the foundation, like powder foundation. Ooh, I really want that. For brows, nothing crazy. I'm just gonna fill in some of these sparse uh, places since my brows are pretty thick and bushy so i'm not gonna do too much about it i do notice that uh Soyeon have this kind of like a cool tone almost kind of like i don't know a little hint of like purple gray tint to her brow i think probably to match her hair man i remember when i used to do those um what do you call it the instagram bushy caterpillar brows Ooh. We're slightly defining it a bit more, so I'm going to go in with the brow pencil. So before we do all that fun eyeshadow stuff, I am going to contour and frame my face a little bit because Soyeon does have this very chiseled, um, like sharp jawline and like her chin is pretty like tiny and I don't really see like heavy contour on her, but she, I feel like she has a naturally small face and God, her nose is pointy i'm going to use this zoeva rose golden palette with this shade right here it's like a nice soft contour on me that you probably can't see it we're not supposed to be able to tell that we contoured anyway so just a little bit of shadow oh yeah by the way some of these stuff are available on yes style so from the skincare to the makeup that i use um you can find certain of the products on YesStyle if you do want to purchase these and I do have a code it is Lady Ray I believe the highest percentage for commission is if you shop through my link instead of just using the code and if you are a first time buyer you get you know a higher percent of discount I believe if not it might rate from like a 2% or 4%. Don't feel pressured if you don't want to use it or whatever. Now that I see her side profile, like she got some very killer, you know, side profile and nose. I don't know if it's all contouring or if she got Botox, but girl, that is a really nice nose. Or maybe it's just like, you know, Photoshop. We're going to connect it all the way up to the brows and drag it down. All right, now the fun part, we are going for the eyeshadow. So what I'm gonna do is just sort of like lay down a base color. I'm going to use this blush from Moonshot. This is the Air Blusher 302, my go-to everyday blusher that I feel like it's a good like mute orange reddish tone. So I'm just gonna apply that all over the eyelid probably also like the under eye you don't need to worry about being a little bit you know heavy-handed with this blush because it's just so natural and seamless it's really easy to use and i love just like the undertone of the color 
All right, uh, you can't see it on camera, um, but in real life you can see a little bit of something going on. We're gonna, you know, intensify the color. I am using the uh, Conspiracy palette from Jeffree Star. Kind of regret buying this now, not gonna lie. I'm going to use this corally pink shade first and to just kind of like intensify, you know, what I've put down and focus this a little bit more um, closer to the center of the eyes maybe. That blush just lays down a very beautiful, you know, transition shade. I wonder what the song is going to be about since it's about like flowers and stuff like that and I did see the music video teaser it just posted like a few hours ago and I'm like dying and Minnie oh my god her looks in this comeback is going to be absolutely insane and Yuki in the you know the bangs and the bob the short bob hair is honestly giving me everything all right we are done with that shade uh now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix these two shades okay the red and the orange together just a little small tab because you know jeffree star eyeshadow is pretty insanely pigmented and we're just gonna place that on the outer corner i think i'll use the orange one to sort of blend out any of the harsh edges all right you can definitely see there's a bit of color going on just want a little bit you know subtlety but also make it look like we just kind of cried. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back with the orange shade and sort of blend out outside here a bit maybe. And now we're gonna go back with the blush before and we're going to sort of like merge it together. I must say whoever is doing their makeup um, at this time, I really love the whole like concept, especially in this series you know them in this oriental um sort of like concept um it's very refreshing yeah so that soft pink reddish color is what i'm going for and i'm going to put some brown on my upper waterline just to deepen the lash line a little bit we are bringing this into the inner corner a little bit I'm using the Heroin Make Impact Liquid Eyeliner. This one is a little bit hard to apply, not gonna lie, because um, if you apply too much, it does chunk up together or leave a little like gloop on your eyelash. So yeah, just be very careful if you have products like this. Something like that, probably. I feel like her wing is a little bit smaller, but I can't really tell because there's like a little bit of hair strands covering it. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna go with. Oh, okay, so we just need to make sure that the eyeliner will stay the same, which I highly doubt that it will. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that. And also this dries hella fast, so you can't really um, spend a lot of time on your wings and you gotta be quick and precise. Moving on, I'm gonna curl my lashes a little bit. I don't think I will be applying mascara though because I ran out of mascara. Even if, you know, just curling on my lashes, I feel like you can see them there. Like they are present, yeah. So I don't know, I just thought that mascara is a little bit like unnecessary, but mostly it's because I'm too lazy to buy new ones. I do feel like we can use a little bit of highlight, you know, just a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this cover effects um a drop that i have is like a sample size from sephora um, i'm gonna try to use the teeniest tiniest bit so make sure i'm not overusing it see that it's just so like high shine and reflective it's so pretty so i'm just gonna put this on the highest point of my cheekbone and just use it a little tiny bit nothing too crazy oh that is cute Get a little bit on the nose this is totally unnecessary, but I really like putting like highlighters in the inner corner just to make, you know, the eyes pop. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that is so pretty. And a little bit on the brow bone as well, just to fake that little dewy look. Okay, for real though, 
this highlight is pretty good. So for the lips, I'll be mixing these two shades. This is the Peripera Ink Airy Stick in number 10. It's kind of like a mauve pink. Do you see that pink? It's so pretty. I think it matches pretty well with her lipstick in the picture. I'm just using a dabbing motion because I don't want this color to be too opaque on the lips. And this one we have 222 Step and Go from 3CE. Um, I think just to darken the color a little, a little bit. And then we're gonna deepen the inner part of the lips and give a little bit of that orangey hue vibe in the center of the lips. Oh, I really love this combination. It's like a soft, you know, warm pink, but not too crazy. I think her uh, lipstick is a bit more cool tone. Maybe I should have just only used this one, um, but I like, you know, the combination of the colors. So we're gonna keep it. We could probably add a bit more red to the eyes because I feel like there's definitely more red to her look. So we're just gonna quickly do that. This is the only butterfly um, accessories that I have right now. Isn't it so cute? Um, but I can only find one of it. So I'm just gonna ignore the other ear and we're just gonna work with that. And I think we are done, you guys. When I first met you, then now you were nothing. You were just sitting on the couch with that red jacket. We didn't say a word. I'm not gonna lie, it does look pretty cute on camera, but in real life, it needs a little bit of uh, getting used to this look, you know? I don't think I can really wear this out, but then again, this should be kind of like, you know, editorial. I don't know, I don't mind it, you know, for a video. It does look cute, it's different. Never really tried Egotty makeup, except for the Doja Cat makeup that I've done. I do like um, the combination uh, of the warm makeup and the cool tone hair on her though. I don't know why it's just working. There's just a lot of colors, you know, uh, like dominant uh, with the blue and the red, but it's just, it just works. She looks so bomb in this look. Everyone else looks so fucking bomb as well. Um, I can't wait to see the actual music video. I guess that is all I have for you guys in this video. If you would like to help assist out and use my YesStyle link or code, Thank you very much in advance. This is not a sponsored uh, video from YesStyle. I just thought it would be like a little fun uh, makeup video and I haven't really done one in a while. So yeah, I definitely um, really like how this look turned out. Look at Graph. You should probably subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit the bell if you don't want to miss a notification when I upload. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye. When you confess your feelings, you ask me how I feel. I said I feel lonely without you by my side. Don't need a reason why. Baby, you got me going.